the painting which, a bit like the Mona Lisa, <laughs> people come and worship. You know, you can tell that it was a man of wealth and fashion. You've got these fantastic sort of gilded embroidery of, of, of shapes, but little arrows, and, and there's sort of little flames, and you wonder if, if these are uh, possible clues because we, to who this man is. We do not know who the Laughing Cavalier is as a person. So the Wallace is especially strong in French 18th century art, which includes furniture, sculpture, and, and paintings, particularly paintings by Boucher and Watteau. And it's one of the great centers for the study of that uh, type of art history. We're also really strong in uh, armor, in uh, weapons, and, and, and helmets, and um, all the kind of garb that goes with uh, fighting in the medieval times right to the 18th century. So the history of this collection is absolutely fascinating, the way it actually began. Um, there was a series of marquises, but it was the fourth marquis of Hartford who was particularly keen on, on collecting. He was uh, almost an obsessive. And then, amazingly, he gave everything to his illegitimate son, uh, Richard Wallace. And he, instead of uh, sitting on it, decided to add to it. He bought a great collection of armours um, and paintings and, and works of art. Uh, but uh, he did something very special, which was in 1873 or thereabout, he decided to lend the whole collection to Bethnal Green Museum, which is now the Bethnal Green Museum of Childhood. And there it was visited by four million visitors. It was one of the most well-known collections. And I think that's what inspired him eventually to give the whole collection to the nation, which he duly did through his wife, because he died before her, uh, Lady Wallace. And she, in 1897, probably made the most incredible bequest ever to the British nation. And that's something that a lot of people forget, but how this is the people's collection. This is Van Dyck at his best. Uh, painting a, a merchant and his wife standing, you can tell the wealth and that most elegant of dogs that really sort of almost um, is always in competition with his master. Uh, we've got a great education department that engages with uh, young school children. Uh, we have a great curatorial staff who are experts in armour, in French art, in um, European paintings and the decorative arts. And we have a great conservation team that are not only great experts in furniture and, and armour, and they know how they made, they take things to pieces literally and then reconstruct them to understand how furniture makers in the 18th century made them. What I really want to do here, um, this is sort of my mission statement, is to, to really make the Wallace Collection a beacon uh, of culture. These are your pictures, your sculptures, your furniture. They're here for you to enjoy and learn from. <laughs>